Hi, let's pull your oracle cards for the week ahead. I thought we would start with the planetary cards this time again and see what energy is coming through. So starting with planets, what planet is important for this coming week? This is Neptune again. Venus is on the bottom. So maybe I'll go with Venus. And what sign? And Libra, and Virgo is on the bottom. Venus rules Libra, so that works out. And in what house? In the second house. And uh, the third house is in the bottom foundation. When I say on the bottom, I mean like the foundation of things. Um, so this says to, because it reads across, so it says to cherish relationships patient, patiently. And it says, uh, and it does spiritual, mentally, physically. So mentally it says enjoy the beauty of what you want. Physically, charm, art, and beauty are the way to do it with partners and get what you need. And it does emotionally. The attraction of cooperation to perfect your beliefs. And then mentally, pleasures from decisions about what you value. Physically, good times resulting from the fairness shown by your resources. So I'll put these here to remember. Venus or Neptune. Neptune's more about sacrifice and um, the far out there things and bringing them down to earth. Um, let's pull from this tarot deck. See if there's any overlaps or clarifiers. Emperor, Aries. I'm gonna, I don't know about that card. Let me pull one more. is the magician one mercury gemini and virgo so maybe virgo is important this is that i am energy very much about who you are and maybe the first house the second house and the third house so maybe the first three houses are important and the magician so maybe making magic maybe you are manifesting what it is you want to see happen Something about your beliefs. The second house is about um, your finances, and your values. So maybe you're manifesting whatever it is that you are hoping to see happen with your finances. Four of Cups, Neptune, and Cancer. So we did get Neptune also along with Venus. So maybe that is important, Neptune and Cancer. That is acknowledging and also not, you know, um, having tunnel vision so much like the Emperor Aries that you miss the sign from the universe and maybe that is what the magician is doing is bringing you a sign from the universe and you need to remember to stay aware and stay awake and see whatever is being handed to you. Let's pull from the wounds. people need to know. Wholeness, 24. Solulu, the sun. We did get the sun. The cards for the week ahead. For Friday, I believe. Stillness is on the bottom, 23. This is Isa. 
you like ice, the winter thawing, or the sun. And the sun I think of also having to do with the second house, maybe just because I have uh, Leo in the second house, so I think of the sun. But let's pull one from the Toth deck for further clar clarity. Cards for the week ahead. these cards here. Success, the six of wands. Maybe you feel like you are cheering on a lot of people at work, cheering on others a lot. Maybe you are meeting the reciprocalness of that. Maybe you're feeling it. This is moon in Taurus. Ace of Discs is on the bottom, so that is like a gift. It's split at the moon. Six of Wands, though, can mean protests, things like that. Um, success, wholeness. I want to say... You're manifesting the success you want to see, the magician, Gemini, Virgo, success. Um, let's pull from the Angel Oracle. Oops, this is the Romance Angel. Oh, where's the... Well, I'll pull one from the Romance Angel, too, because this week. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I think of Britney Spears' conservatorship, freeing yourself, taking control of your life. Maybe that's what you feel like you need to do. Maybe um, this could be the one that's on the bottom, reverse. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I'm going to pull a different one because I feel like they're very contradictory. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments and make the effort is where it's split. And new love is on the bottom. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. The forgiving and learning. Well, we did have a lot of Saturn energy for the cars for the week, week ahead. I think of Saturn, lessons, forgiveness, learning. Um, maybe one from the Art of Life Tarot, and then we'll keep going with the Oracle. Four of Cups, again. This is, when the music changes, so should the dance, African proverb. A dance in the country by... Pierre Auguste Renoir, 1883, Musée d'Orsay, Paris, France. Page of Cups is on the bottom, which we did get four cards for the week ahead as well. Sunday. There is no instinct like that of the heart. Lord George Gordon Byron. Keep it in psyche. Detailed by Sir Edward Burne Jones, 19th Century Manchester Art Gallery, UK. Four of Cups, though, to come up twice. Neptune and Cancer might be very important. To sum up the tarot cards and what we've done so far, let's pull from the Pixie Lenormand. See if any combination cards, these are combinatory cards of the tarot into different images. So let's see what says the tower this is 19 
and this is 19, like the sun, like so the runes. And this is the six of spades, which we also got here in success, the tower, positive, keywords, ambition, arrogance, authority, in all caps, borders, bureaucracy, corporation, confinement, conglom conglomeration, dogma, ego, franchise, government, guidance, rules, high self-esteem, higher education, imprisonment, isolation, law, limitations, loneliness, official, protection, school, separation. Full meaning, a card of stalwart institution and structure. Here are great buildings in our lives, such as hospitals, libraries, courthouses, schools, museums, etc. The tower represents places with large structures and expansive networks, people, things to do with the government or military are signified as well as things to do with justice and higher education. The card to the right indicates what type of institution is being referred to. So just say what we got on the bottom is the dog um, which I know is a positive thing um, in love this is a serious and powerful relationship with a firm foundation career or high-ranking position a working environment that allows you to advance, timing 19 days or weeks, image origins, the wall, and the tower here are taken from the Ten of Pentacles. And the tower is topped with the, to the turret borrowed from the Four of Wands. So another four. So I see you feeling like maybe... Maybe, well, let's keep going. And you're feeling isolated. Maybe you are missing some opportunities to go out and socialize. Um, let's pull from the Archangel or What else people need to know? Moon cycles, gentleness, compassion. Archangel Haniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Moon cycles. Ah, dropping things. Um, wholeness, standstill. So we got the sun and the moon in a way. Just organizing myself right now. And gentleness, Archangel Sandophone. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. On the bottom is take back your power, kind of like, well, the first card I pulled from the Romance Angel Oracle. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life, kind of like a magician, manifestation. Four of Cups. Neptune and Cancer. Cancer does rule the fourth house. Just going back to that for a second, the Four of Cups. Um, this is Nostradamus, the Golden Nostradamus. Five, love. This says... Those too free with flattery and praise seek to deceive you and make you their prey. You will face a challenge or a duel with someone or a confrontation with your own shadow or limitations. Can you get something about limitations, boundaries? A potential lawsuit may arise. 
and to get free yourself, to drip too free with flattery and praise. We will seek to deceive you and make you their prey. So maybe freeing yourself from someone else's flattery and praise that, you know, if it's affecting like your ego, but you need to just get free of that. If that makes sense. Um, let's pull from the Enchanted Map Oracle. And before I do that, I'll pull from the Crystal Grid Oracle is just a keyword. What else do people need to know? Emotions, black moonstones, more things having to do with the moon. One. And on the bottom is soul healing, tangerine quartz. Maybe your emotions are playing a big role in Neptune, you know, Neptune and Cancer. Plus the moon and moon and Scorpio right now. Maybe the moon is just playing a lot of big impact on you right now. Um, it's having a big impact on you right now. Okay. Thirty. Making a choice. Split at home, 27, 46, coming apart, and 22, intentions. So let's go with 30, making a choice. Intentions, so I think of being on the bottom as the foundation, kind of like manifestation, what being very clear about what you intend um, so that you manifest the right thing. Um, let's see. Making a choice, you're required to come to a decision now, upright. You're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it, yet you needn't be afraid. You may not have all the right answers now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from spirit, and you will be led to the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. It's kind of like the Four of Cups and being conscious and aware and not missing a sign from the universe. Um... Life is always about learning. Didn't we get that? Forgiving and learning. Success, we also got that, lies in choosing consciously, guided, guided by intuition and spirit. Um, reversed, it's not a time, time to abdicate responsibility for your life. Letting others choose for you doesn't make things easier. Don't compromise because you're afraid of facing the consequences of your choices. Even if you're, you've opted for a difficult path, you can always make another choice if the future, it, choice in the future. There's great power in reclaiming your ability to choose, like reclaiming your power, taking back your power. Um, no one can take that away from you no matter what. Don't give your power away. If you're willing to be rigorously honest with yourself about your motives behind your choices, you may see the need to change things. You can change course and choose another route. Just be willing to clean up what you've left behind. So, making a choice. It's like a scale and we did get Libra. Libra is about choice and balance and fairness and things like that. Um, let's read from, let's pull from the Oracle of Visions.
dropped all of them. One second. Thumbs up. Thirteen. Looks like she's got a sewing machine. And she's sewing this magical, reminds me of the magician. Five is on the bottom. The shirt. There's like a headdress almost looks like. Thirteen, yeah, she's like sewing this magical rainbow thread. Productivity control organization. Take your needle, my child, and work at your pattern. It will come out a rose by and by. Life is like that, one stitch at a time taken patiently, and a pattern pattern will come out all right, like the embroidery. Oliver Wendell Holmes. This card considers the gathering of separate elements, people or ideas from the everyday nuances of family dynamics to the uh, magnet managing of the corporate team. This Victorian seamstress manipulates various components of th as threads of color. With skillful hand, she arranges them, taking into consideration the distinct and individual qualities that each may possess. She coaxes the best from each and orchestrates their ultimate working together as a whole, giving each strand order, position, and purpose. She blends them into a rainbow of unity. Its beauty is a metaphor of, accomplish of accomplishment, surpassing that of its original, separate parts. Be wary of over-controlling, micromanaging, or getting lost in the details. Allow each participant to contribute fully and not be undermined by one person's overall position. and we'll do finish up with the winged enchantment oracle as I always do hummingbird 17 And seven crows on the bottom. This says I am hummingbird, I am creator shaman, I am the burst of light in the darkness, whirling and weaving, kind of like the card we just got weaving string, weaving through the pattern of time. I create the nectars of life. I'm the fragility of time and the strength of passion. I am the beauty of nature and motion. I advise you to keep your garden in order. I am the fleeting brilliance of the moment, brilliance like the sun and wholeness. I am here. I am the here and the now. When your world has ceased to make sense, I will be the one fluttering at your window, however precisely where you are, and take a good look around. Take it all in before your next great adventure. I am luminosity and the magic that happens with the first breath. I am the life that stirs at dawn. I am the opening of the flower in the spring. There is a miracle in every particle of life. You are spontaneous action. You are divinity made manifest. Another manifestation card. You are the joy of movement. You are hummingbird. Just like the magician, you are divinity made manifest. Um, 
the joy of movement, you are hummingbird. Okay, so I hope that this uh, was helpful and that you enjoyed the reading, found it insightful for you, and that you have a great week ahead. Bye.